Hi, this is team number 2 and we are doing the app demo for CSCI 587. Our app is called Fintrest. The motivation for our app is to find the events nearby based on your interests and to make sure that the participants show up for the event. To make profile management easier, we have implemented Facebook login. So once I tap on the login with Facebook button, I would be navigated towards the main screen. As you can see, in the side navigation bar, the profile picture and the full name are populated from Facebook. Going back to the main screen, this is the main screen where you can see all the events happening near you. They have different markers to denote different types of events. For example, this is a food event, this is a party event and this is an educational event. You can browse around and look at the events that you like. So let us just say I like this event called winter break celebration. I can get the information like event date from the information dialog. I can even go to the event details page by tapping the information dialog. So this is the event details page. We can get the address, the network distance to the event from the user's current location and the ETA from this page. We are using the Google distance matrix API for these calculations. Since I am not part of this, this event, I can choose to join the event. So I can join the event by tapping the join button. So now, now I am a part of the event. So uh, once I join the event, I also have the option to leave the event. If you zoom out, you can see that the events are organized into clusters. So you can see that there are uh, 10 plus uh, events happening in and around Los Angeles. We also have a heat map view. So if once you click on toggle heat map, you can see the heat map of events happening. So as you can see, LA is buzzing with events right now. Let me go back to the main screen. In case the number of events shown is overwhelming, the user also has the option to narrow down the search. So uh, you can go to the side navigation bar and tap on search event. In the search event page, let us say I want to search for hackathons. I type hack and then click on search. I get a few hackathon events. There's one in Seattle. So let us say I want to get the events which are within two miles from my current location. So I go back to the search event page, tap, type hack and then in the location options. I choose location as my current location so I'll select my current location and then set the distance to 2 miles and then click on search. This is the only event happening within a 2 mile radius of my current location. This result is actually a result of a backend range query which is executed. Let me walk you through the create event page as well. User can also choose to create an event. Let us say I want to create a glass painting event. I enter the name of the event and then I enter the description. In there are a list of event types that you can select from. I'd say this is a general event. And then you can enter the event date. Let us say it's on 5th of December. And the event time is, let's say, 6 p.m. And the event location, let us say, is McCarthy Quad. So once I select McCarthy Quad, I can set this as my event location and then when once I click create the event will be created so event is now created so if you want to see the event you can go to search event and then type class painting and then click on search this is the one we just created we also have notifications whenever new events are created and we implement this feature using Google Firebase. Vishnu has just created an, an event near me and I have received an event notification. So let me check it out. 
So I've received an event notification for a Zumba workshop happening on 7th of December. I can uh, also see the event details by clicking on the notification. So this is the event that Vishnu has created. We manage the notifications via the settings tab. Let me quickly show you the settings tab. Here I can enable or disable notifications like shown. Users can also set the interest radius within which user would be notified if new events are created. So I can set it as per my preference. We internally use range queries for this feature. One cool feature about this app is that participant status is updated one hour prior to the event start time. We do this in a privacy preserving manner without storing or tracking the user location. We also provide human readable statuses such as on the way, reached, not coming, etc. instead of displaying distance or time. We do this by calculating the ETA at the client side using the Google Distance Matrix API. We update the event ETA to the server in the background whenever the user location changes by 100 meters. Let me demonstrate the same. So we have an event which is starting one hour from now. So hence participant ETA status should be updated in the event details page. Users can swipe to refresh for updated statuses as per their need. As Vishnu has just started and we don't have enough data points initially, the status is displayed as unknown. I am the host of the event and hence my uh, picture is marked with H for host and I've already reached the event destination. So it says reached. Vishnu is now on his way. So let me refresh the event details page again. Now the status for Vishnu is displayed as 5 minutes. Vishnu has just arrived at the event location so when I refresh, now his status is displayed as reached. This wraps up our demo. Thank you for watching.